Welcome to Watch of the Week here on K-Spec. This is a series of brief reviews and previews of recently introduced timepieces. It's not a commercial, so you will hear my unfiltered reaction, my unfiltered opinion. And our guest in this week is... What a name for a watch. Tutima Flieger Friday Chronograph Limited Edition. Goodness. So let's unpeel it. Tutima was a brand invented 1926 by the German entrepreneur Ernst Kurz in Glashütte. Tutima produced there the first German flyback chronograph and was a watchmaker for the German Wehrmacht during World War II. The company is still in existence and is one of those companies who really play with social media. And so they found out that bloggers, vloggers and other influencers have established the hashtag Flieger Friday to wear that genre on a certain day, like Seiko Saturday for example. And now they've announced this watch to be a part of that hashtag. The Flieger Friday is the reissue of a chronograph from 1941, used during the war by pilots of the German Luftwaffe. And if you watch this video series often, then you have noticed that the same watch was used as a blueprint by Hanhardt a couple of months ago. Hanhardt presented the piece in bronze though, officially to imitate the worn look of chrome-plated watches, where you can see the base metal, usually brass, but the real reason was of course that they just wanted to join the bronze hype in watchmaking. Tutima now keeps it more simple and more convincing if you ask me and so let's go over the basics of this watch. We have here a hand wound chronograph with a case diameter of 38.5 mm which is the size of the original watch from 1941. 15.5 mm thickness and the length overall is 46 mm. Bidirectional fluted bezel with a distinctive red mark on position 12. Sapphire crystal on both sides and waterproof up to 100 meters. And inside is a modified Valju 7760, 28,800 vibrations and 48 hours power reserve. And this movement is the reason for the height of the watch. 7750 and 7760 have small diameters, but they are high. They give the watch always those quirky dimensions, but that can mean really presence on the wrist. And the watch comes on a very beautiful leather strap. Well chosen, I must say, really well chosen. The price of 2,900 euros shall reflect the rareness of the watch and with 25 pieces this really is limited. But does the limitation really bring that extra in value? Open question. Nobody will be able to answer this at 100%. But we should keep in mind that the original World War II chronos by Tutima and Hanhardt were not luxury pieces but rather inexpensive equipment. Chrome plated but sometimes with a flyback function. But for me this piece is more convincing than the big bronze reissue by Hanhardt because of the steel case and the diameter. And it has also this very special look between vintage and diesel punk. I mean look at the fluted bezel in combination with the cathedral hands and on the other side the uncluttered and modern font for the numerals. Today a rather strange look, straight from a movie set it seems, but it shows the design reality of the 40s. And I really love that they've stick to the original case diameter here. And by the way, I have explained this also in the Hanhardt video, the question why this chronograph when we all have learned that the German Luftwaffe used those gigantic B1, B watches. Explanation is easy. If you see a German bomber from World War II, then you find there always pilot and navigator. And the navigator was equipped with a big B1. He knew position and speed of the aircraft and could tell the pilot something like drop off in 30 seconds from now. And then the pilot hit the chronograph to know exactly the time of delivery. And if you want to see an original b uhr then follow this link in the upper right corner. I had the pleasure to examine an old Laco watch, active radium inclusive, family was not pleased about that. So conclusion here, very interesting watch which represents an important part in German watchmaking. The ingredients of this watch are rock solid in my eyes, even the quirky dimensions. This watch will sit on the wrist like a piece of machinery and will have presents. The price is too high, let's just state it. But as mentioned in the intro, this video series is not a commercial and when I explain here features in historic context, then this doesn't mean go buy it. I mean we don't have to own something to learn from it, right? Okay, that's all for now. See you next Monday to watch of the week here on Caseback.